Hi, this is JP from Not The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG playthrough. And this time we are testing the new starter decks that just uh, recently came out for the game. Uh, we are starting with the Riders of Rohan starter deck. And uh, even though the uh, box comes with additional cards for you to deck build, I am using the uh, pre-built starter deck for this scenario and we are playing a uh, journey along the Anduin scenario to test the deck out. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, uh, we have the scenario and the uh, player deck set up. So uh, first of all, the box comes with or the pack comes with this uh, booklet that has some inter introductory to the starter deck, how you should be playing it and etc. And of course it tells you the new rules like Valor, uh, what it means and stuff like that. Uh, I decided to try out the deck against the journey through the Anduin, as I found out that is maybe a better scenario to test decks out than the first scenario of the game or the core box but yeah let's see how this goes so um, first off we have done the setup so uh, almost so we have to still uh, draw a card from the encounter deck and put it into the staging area well this uh, when revealed his enemy and its location currently in the staging area gets plus one um, threat until the end of the phase. If there are no cards in the staging area, covered by shadows can search. So I think that just applies. We won't add it to the staging area. And uh, then when we flip this, we are informed to. Uh, Search the encounter deck for a hill troll. I have already done that and put it into the staging area. So we start the game with the hill troll in play. And then uh, we <clears throat> have to first defeat the hill troll to be able to defeat this stage. So first we need to defeat the hill troll. Uh, we can add um, progress onto this but it won't advance before we get rid of the hill troll. Uh, then uh, we have a mixed bag of tactics and spirit cards in the deck. We'll see what we get. So uh, we, our starting threat is 27, so we'll go from there. Let's first see what we get into our opening hand. So we get Firefoot, Ancient Mat, uh, Mathon, we get Elmund, Westford, Outrider, Gandalf, and Warax. Well, I think we can start with this because we have some allies and some upgrades to play. So uh, I'm putting the hand down here. So let's see what we can do. Well, uh, first off, we'll start our turn. I, I decide not to do a mulligan, so we'll start our turn uh, with the resource phase and grab resources for all the heroes. Uh, we have as heroes Elmer, Hirogon, and what's this lady called? It's Lothriel. So they get resources, we draw a card, we get another element, and this deck really revolves around putting allies into play and removing them to trigger the effects on the heroes. But let's see what we can start doing. So first off, um, I think we will build Eomer to be our main fighter. So I will just play the War Axe. So this has attached to a tactic character, limit one per character restricted. Attached character gets plus one uh, combat power for each attachment it has with the restricted keyword. So I'm playing it on Elmer. 
So Elmer has now a fight of four. I'll use Elmer's resource. So uh, what other stuff do we want to play in the planning phase? Mm. We have resources for the ancient Matum. We could attach this to a location. After attached location is explored, this, the, the first player draws three cards. Uh, we don't have any locations in play yet, so we won't play that. I think that is all we want to play in this stage. So... I think... Uh, Let's back up. I, I won't play the War Axe. I thought of a better plan for next turn, so next turn we'll play Firefoot and the Westfall Outrider. So we'll, we won't play anything. Uh, we'll go to the quest phase uh, or questing phase. Uh, the Hill Troll won't engage us yet, so I think I will quest with uh, Lotriel and uh, Hirogon. So, uh, we'll quest with those, we'll leave Elmer up, uh, we'll draw the top card of the encounter deck. It is uh, Dalgur, Guldur Orcs. So, uh, let's see. So currently, uh, so we have four against five, so we quest successfully, we add one progress token here. And then I can play one ally cheaper. I will play Westfold Outrider. So action discard Westfold Outrider to choose an enemy not engaged with you, engage the chosen enemy. Well, uh, we'll just play this for a jump blocker. Then uh, we'll we have finished the quest phase, we don't have anywhere to travel, so we skip the travel phase. Encounter phase, um, this enemy will engage us, we'll leave the troll uh, not engaged for this round. So the uh, when yeah when revealed, the first one says one character currently committed to a quest deal two damage to that character. Well, I, I forgot to do that, so I'll have to do it now. Uh, I think it is this, so... Okay. Let's see what Elmer can do. So after a character leaves play, Elmer gets plus two fight until the end of the round, leave once per round. Well, I think I am just uh, defending with the Westfall Outrider. We'll get a shadow card. It is... No shadow effect, so uh, we have a defense of one against fight of two, so we take one damage to this. Then Elmer uh, can hit for three, which is enough to defeat because there's no de defense, so we'll defeat this uh, orc enemy. And that is our uh, combat phase done. We'll go to refresh phase, so we ready up. And uh, we'll add one threat to this dial. And that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We'll start by adding resources. So, let's see. Oh yeah, uh, here, here and here. We'll draw a card. It is a test of will. Okay, well, I think, let's see, do we have enough to defeat anything? So, uh, the Westfall Outrider could take on the Troll, which means Elmer gets a boost. And uh, stuff like that, but let's do our planning phase. So, Elmer will play Firefoot. So, Firefoot is a uh, mount attached to a... Um, Tactic or Rohan hero, restricted, attached hero gets plus one fight, plus two instead if attached hero is Elmer. After attached hero attacks alone, exhaust barefoot to choose non-unique non enemy engaged with you, excess damage dealt by this attack is assigned to the chosen enemy. 
Okay, I probably <laughs> will forget that, but it is what it is. We'll also play the uh, War Axe, so now this gives plus two. So, um, Elmer is fight of four, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, straight out. And if something leaves play, it's a fight of nine. Okay, so we, uh, hmm, do we want to skip questing? Let's think about it for a moment. We have, we get quest for three and we have like one against, so, but do we have enough damage? So, uh, this enemy has defense of three, so we need 12 damage to defeat it. Uh, Elmer is... 9, this is 11, 12, so we won't quest, we'll just take the threat to defeat the new troll. And uh, we'll go from there, so we won't quest, uh, heal troll, and then counter card says uh, 3, so we add 3 threat to the dial. So we are at 31. The hill troll engages us, oh, uh, we'll travel here, so while Enchanted Stream is active location, players can draw cards, so I think we are fine, we just want to get rid of that next round. So the hill troll engages us, I will defend with the Outrider. So the hill troll hits for 6 damage, and the shadow card, no shadow effect, so we'll take 1 damage here. Or, or 5 damage because this has defense of 1, so this is defeated, it leaves play, so Elmer gets the boost, but uh, the hill troll says, it, uh, excess combat damage dealt by hill troll damage uh, is, uh, must be assigned as an increase to your threat. So let's count, so 5, so 4, so we're at 35. That is unfortunate, but at least now uh, we can... Uh, Fight back, so Elmer, Irgon, and Lothriel will hit for 12 damage, defeating the Hill Troll. So, this is as a victory point, so we'll put it behind here so it won't return to play. So, next turn we are ready to start progressing the quest and get further because there is no Hill Troll in play. Uh, we go to Repress Phase, we ready up. Oh yeah, let's see, well, um, so if Elmer is in play Lotriel gains the Rohan trade response. After Lotriel commits to a quest, choose an ally in your hand. If that ally shares trade with her, put that ally into play, exhausted, and committed to a quest at the end of the phase. If that ally is still in play, shuffle it into your deck. Well, I've for been forgetting to use that, but I'll try to remember from now on. So. Uh, yeah, we'll add one threat to the dial, that is that round, let's go to the next round. We will add resources. Then we'll draw a card. It is Westfold Hall, Hall, West Force Horse Breeder, so... Um, after Westfold Horse Breeder and display a so set of 10 cards, of your deck for a mount, attachment, and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. Okay, um, how about after Elmen leaves play, ready a Rohan character in play, when does this trigger, so, at the end of the phase, okay. So, um, do we want to play anything? We have a quite a, a spirit hand at the moment, so, uh, we could play Elmund or save up for Gandalf. I think I'll save up for Gandalf. So let's see. What allies can we play after Hirogon quest successfully play? Yeah, it needs to be a tactic ally. So we'll quest. We leave Elmer up just in case. Actually, let's back up. I think... Should we play Elmond? 
So ailment responds after ailment leaves play, ready a Rohan character in play. I think we can wait with Gandalf, so I'll play uh, uh, Elmond. Then we'll quest. This quest, this comes into play, so after Westfall on Horse Rider enters play, we search the top 10 cards for mount. Uh, let's see... He didn't hit a mount, so we'll shuffle the deck. This is also committed to the quest. Okay, so... Let us count. Uh, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Against 0. And counter card is... Uh, when revealed, each player raises their threat. Level by one for each character they control that is not currently committed to a quest, so it's one. Okay, 37. But it's uh, we are questing against zero, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is defeated. Oh yeah, cannot draw cards. Hmm. So this, uh, we wouldn't have drawn this, so let's back up. Okay, so we didn't draw a mount, so that's okay. Sorry for, for forgetting that. Um, so this is uh, still defeated. It takes two, so the, we're seven, so five goes here. So we're six of eight, nearly done with that quest. No enemies to engage, we'll just go to refresh and add one to the threat. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. So, because I uh, draw, drew a card with that location as an active location, so uh, I know what the top card is, but we'll pretend we don't. So we'll draw this, and that is it, and we get resources. Then... Uh, we are just questing, we don't need to quest that much, but now I will uh, quest and quest, then uh, we can put this into play, we don't really need to, we'll save it. So we are questing 5 versus zero and counter card is uh, it is a wolf rider search and we get the brown lands so first after the play uh, the players travel to brown lands place one progress token on it okay and it has a threat of five okay so we actually won't progress <laughs> we are really unfortunate with that, but it is what it is. So, uh, six versus five, we actually have to add one threat here. Then we'll travel over here, so this gets one. So, next round it will um, advance automatically, or actually just uh, advances automatically away. Uh, we'll engage this, and I will. Uh, this hits for two, uh, one defense there. Uh, let's see, let's see. It's, just, it's a bit risky, so I'll just take the damage. So, uh, Shadow Card is uh, zero, nothing happens, so we'll deal the two damage to Elmer. Then uh, We'll just hit with Elmer, and let's hit with this too. So this is defeated. We get to ready up. We'll draw. Uh, no, uh, we'll uh, go to forty. So now uh, we only have 
10 thread to go before we thread out, but it is what it is. Hopefully we can get a bit more further into the scenario. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We draw a card. Uh, we get the wait no longer event. Then we get resources. Okay, uh, we'll just, uh, let's see, after the beginning of the quest phase, search the top 5 cards of the encounter deck for an enemy and put it into play, engage with you, then reveal one less encounter card to this phase, shuffle the encounter deck. I think we could actually play that, we have means to defeat enemies, so we'll play that event at the quest phase, so. We search the top five cards for an enemy. One, two, three, four, five. Put it into play. Marsh adder. Two card. We'll take the box. Shuffle the encounter deck. And now we draw one less encounter card, so we don't draw any. Now uh, we will quest with this. We don't have um, tactics allies, so I will quest with this and leave this to defend. It will die, but then Elmer is just a powerhouse, so we'll actually put. No, we still no, don't need that. No, let's put it into. No, let's. Keep it like so. so uh, we are questing five versus two. We only need two, two to progress. So okay. So if we don't draw a shadow card, this just goes back. Well, that's annoying. Uh, let's see. So, uh, we don't draw a card, we uh, progress 5 on this, or, or 3 on this, because uh, 5 versus 2. So, Anduin Passage. Uh, reveal one additional card from the encounter deck each quest phase. Do not make engagement checks during the encounter phase. Each player may still optionally engage an enemy. I think we still want to optionally uh, engage this. Defend with this, we reveal a shadow card, uh, no shadow effect, so it... So this goes back and this leaves play and Neomar is left without the ability to kill uh, the work that is annoying. It is what it is. Well, nothing we can do, we just ready up. Or let's see. Yeah, we can't attack because there's nothing to attack. Okay, well, that's a shame. So we're ready up. We are one threat to the dial. Now we need 16 to advance this. So we need to start questing fast, but that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We added uh, resources. We will add a card. It is a port. Erling uh, combat action each row and a hero can be declared as an attacker against enemies in the staging area this phase. So we don't mind, we can do that even if the work goes back. But yeah, now uh, we'll play Elmond. Then uh, That is everything we want to play. We'll go questing. We'll quest with this. 
Uh, yeah, now we'll play this. So this also quests. So we are questing three versus two. Uh, five versus two. Encounter cards. We draw two. Get uh, deal one damage to each exhaust character. Well, that sucks. This is defeated. Leaves play. Elmer gets a boost. This takes one damage. And this takes one damage. Then Goblin Sniper. Uh, so. We can't engage this while it, there are other enemies. So uh, we'll go to. Let's count. So th those were two, four. So we are at five. So we add one progress token. Nowhere to travel. We'll go to the encounter phase. Uh, there we will engage this. I will. Uh, I will defend with this. We'll draw on shadow card. No shadow effect. So this is defeated. Uh, we get ready our Rohan character. This goes back, but we'll play this so we can actually go and hit with this. And also, uh, after. After attacks, hero attacks alone, exhaust bar for to choose a non-unique enemy engaged with you. Excess damage dealt by this attack is assigned to the chosen enemy. So actually, let's back up. I could take the cop. Well, I can't because we don't have enough um, damage. So, so we'll just defeat this uh, work. And that is it. We ready up. Uh, we add one threat to the dial, so forth two. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. We get a card. Another war axe. Well, I am playing Gandalf. And we will lower our threat. So one, two, three, five. Back to 37. So uh, now we have a bit more time to complete this uh, scenario. We'll go to questing. So hmm. let's think. Yeah, I will uh, quest with these two, leave these two up. No allies to play, so we get two encounter cards. And yeah, we uh, won't be engaging unless I want to. We get uh, more uh, Gladen Fields comes into play. Then uh, we will, uh, each location is staging a player with but I discard one card from the hand. Uh, okay, I will just just off wheel that. So we are questing five versus five, so zero, nothing happens. We'll travel here. Well, uh, while Gladden Fields is the active location, each player must raise their threat by an additional point during the rest phase, so that sucks. Uh, we'll decide to engage this. Gandalf will defend. And uh, we'll get a shadow card. Nothing happens. Uh, Gandalf doesn't take any damage. And Elmer will run down the goblin. We will uh, refresh. Add one threat to the dial. Gandalf goes away. And that is it. 
So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We'll draw a card. Uh, we get the red arrow and some resources. Uh, the red arrow is an artifact item attachment. Limit one per deck. Attached to Gondor hero. Attached hero gets plus one uh, valor, uh, plus one willpower. Valor responds after that hero quest successfully the red arrow. Add the red arrow to the victory display and search the top five cards of your deck for an ally and put it into play shuffle your deck. So, um, I will actually. Yeah, so. We'll play the red arrow. Uh, we will also play the War Axe. And uh, we'll play the Ancient Matom also. Now we'll go to questing. We'll quest and quest. Leave Elmer up. So. We are 5 versus 0, and counter cards are uh, Eastern Crows, Searches, <laughs> deal 1 damage to it. So, okay, well, this is going downhill now. So, this is defeated, and I really should have saved the Test of Will for this. So, and 1 damage here. Okay, um, Banks of Anduin. If Banks of Anduin leaves uh, play, return it to the top of the encounter deck instead of placing it in the discard pile. Okay, well. Mm, that is. Uh, this is one, so two against three. So we add one progress over here. Okay, so I think we are losing this, but we'll play as long as we can. So, okay, we'll engage this. We'll take one damage with Elmer. Elmer will run it down. Oh yeah, Shadow card. Uh, remove one progress token from the current quest. Okay, that happened. And we'll run it down with Elmer. Then we'll ready up. We add one threat, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We really need some allies, so we we'll draw a card. Another fire boost. useless. We gain some resources. We don't have any anything to play, so we'll go to questing phase. So we'll just uh, quest with both, and uh, we draw two encounter cards. We get another banks of Anduin. And Dolgor Beastmaster, which won't engage us yet. So, we are questing for, for... Oh yeah, this should have gone to the victor display. And uh, we actually would have drawn... An, let's do this again. One, two, three, four, five. We get... Uh, Take a red west road traveler. The red arrow. Still don't have resources to play her, but we can put it into play. So we'll. Uh, so uh, after you play west road traveler from your hand, it's active location with any other location in the staging area. Then we won't do that. So we have uh, two, three, six versus. War. So we progress this. This goes away. This goes away. This is victory. Then we draw three cards. The Master of Rohan, Ancient Mountain, and another one. Wait no longer. And uh, this goes away at the end of the phase. Uh, we'll travel over here. 
then uh, no enemies uh, we won't engage anything so we ready up and add one threat to the dial so we're at 40 again so that is that round let's go to the next round we draw another card it is a Westfall Lancer we gain some resources still not a lot to play so I think I'm just playing uh, this on the location we will quest uh, with both we get two shadow cards we get another heal troll and all gold or orc so we have one two three four five six threat against four so we advance this dial by two and we skip the um, encounter phase so we ready up we are stuck here now and we add one threat to the dial so 42 that is that round let's go to the next round we draw another card escort from Edoras and resources finally we can play something uh, so we'll play the Westfold Lancer after Westfold Lancer quest successful discard it to choose a non-unique enemy in the staging area deal 2 damage to the chosen enemy so that doesn't defeat anything unfortunately uh, we'll also play uh, this escort from Edoras while Ed uh, Committed to a quest escort from Edoras gains plus 2 willpower. After resolving a quest to which escort from Edoras was committed, discard escort from Edoras from play. Okay, well, I think uh, hmm, we could quest a lot. And maybe, well, yeah, I'm just questing with these two. No, I'm just questing with this because we want to defeat the hill troll. No, yeah, I'm questing with these two. So five versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 5 versus 10, okay, well, we are at 48. I'm just gonna engage this and lose the game. <laughs> so, we'll defend. We get a shadow effect attacking, enemy gets plus 1 fight, so this defeats this. AMR is boosted up, but we'll uh, thread out and end the game here. So, um,. The Riders of Rohan deck works pretty okay for what it is. It's a starter deck, so it's not nearly as optimal as some other uh, build decks would be. Uh, the problem with this run was that I lost uh, Hirogon too early. So with two heroes and practically no allies in play, it's really hard to get past this stage of the quest. And uh, yeah. Mm, I think the right call was with Gandalf to remove the threat, but still uh, hard to say. We could have drawn cards, we could have defeated one enemy and quest more, but it is what it is. Uh, we spent too long of a time at the banks of Anduin drawing two encounter cards each round, so that really slowed us down and bogged us to a halt. But still, I feel like this is a really interesting starter deck to play. I will play this as it's built in two-player games for sure. Uh, for true solo, I think this needs some optimization. And I, of course, played the, a test of will at the wrong time. But yeah, that was um, the Riders of Rohan pre-built starter deck against the journey through the Anduin. Hope you guys liked this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.